Yo, AB Academy, what's going on? It's your boy Avery B. Quick yap session with AB Pete Gang. Y'all like when I do these? I love to do these because I love to talk. You feel me? Today, as you can see from today's title, we're about to be saying something along the lines of how I made my first $10,000. I know the $10,000 mark is something that a lot of people want to achieve, something that a lot of people desire to do. So I'm about to tell y'all my way that I first did it, the first time I actually did it, and how I did it, and the steps in which I did. Because, like, as y'all know, bro, like, I can't tell y'all nothing that I haven't done anything on this channel. I didn't did it myself. Self, you feel me? And I'm going to tell you the exact way I did it. So let's rewind the time back to 2020. It was around June, June-ish, you feel me? So it's been about a month. I mean, I said about a month, my bad. It's been four years exactly, you feel me? The four years since I made my first large lump sum amount of money. And I'm going to tell you how I did it. So we're going to refer to this book right here a lot. This book is called Think and Grow Rich. No, I did not read the book in its entirety in order to do it. No, I didn't even have the book in order to do it. But it was a defining moment in my life when I figured out about this book. And I'm going to tell you exactly where I was. So I was working at a job. It was a bread factory job. If y'all know my come up story, y'all know this. I was working at a bread factory job. And on this job, we had free range to listen to our headphones, you feel me, as much as we wanted to. And I started off like everybody, bro. I was listening to music, this, that, this, that. And along the journey, bro, I was like, man, I'm about to start listening to this music. I'm about to start listening to these podcasts, listening to these audio books. And I came across somebody called Bob Proctor. Shout out to Bob Proctor, bro. You feel me? He changed my life. He unfortunately passed away, but he probably changed my life, bro. I ain't gonna lie. Because when I was listening to him, he kept referring to this book and kept referring to the principles in his book. And he told me to do this one exercise. And this exercise, I'm about to read y'all today. But let me tell y'all the principles and the premises behind the exercise. So the exercise basically was writing out how much money you want, writing out what you're going to do for it, writing out how much time it's going to take for you to get it, and just basically those premises, bro, and actually writing it out as if you already had it. So that was the basic premise, bro, you feel me? And I'm about to tell y'all why I feel like that worked, but before I tell y'all why I feel like that worked, I'm about to tell y'all the book's definition. So basically, Bob Proctor gave me the book's definition, but in a video form, like I'm giving you a video form. So my goal today is to be the Bob Proctor to one of y'all out there, bro, that haven't made a lot of money in y'all life. Hopefully, this video is just like the video that I watched four years ago that opened my life up and opened my possibilities up. Because that's all it is, bro. It's just opening your mind to actually believe in something that's possible, bro. Because a lot of times we grew up in households that ain't used to that type of money, that ain't never had that type of money, that think that type of money is only had by a certain group of people and it's not for them. I'm here to tell you, bro, it is for you. Everything in your life is however you want it to be. You feel me? If you want this amount of money, then tell yourself you're going to get that type of money and actually do the things that it takes to get that type of money. It's that simple, bro. It's that easy. A lot of people ain't going to tell you that, but it's simple as that, bro. However much money you want, bro, go get it, my nigga. That's how it is. So let me read y'all this passage in this book. So it's a step-by-step -step process. And if you at home, either, you know what I'm saying, turn to this page. It's, look, literally, look, bro. I got this page highlighted, bro. I got this page highlighted. Since I got this book and I found the actual page, I had to highlight it. So... It's page 26 in Think and Grow Rich. It's this copy. I don't know if all copies are the same. But it starts off like this. First, fix your mind on the exact amount of money you desire. It is not sufficient merely to say, I want plenty of money. Be definite as an amount. There is a psychological reason for definiteness, which will be described in a subsequent chapter. So it says, bro, fix your mind on the exact amount you want. Don't just say, I want this amount of money, bro. I just want a lot of money, bro. I just want some money, bro. You feel me? Tell the, to, bro, tell yourself how much you want, bro. Second, determine exactly what you intend to give in return for the money you desire. There is no such thing as something for nothing. And that's where a lot of people fuck up, bro. A lot of people go from step one and say, oh, yeah, I want to be a millionaire. You feel me? I want 10000 but what you're going to do for that 10000 what you're going to do to be a millionaire is you're going to wake up early, is you're going to go to sleep late. What you're going to do is you ready to bust your ass, is you ready to actually post 10 videos, is you ready to go every day on YouTube. Like, tell what you're going to give in exchange for that money, bro. The book says there is no such thing as something for nothing. Don't try to get something for nothing, bro. That's not a good deal, bro. Put in that work and that work is going to pay off. No cap. Third, establish a definite date in when you intend to possess this money. Put a date on it, bro. You feel me? Don't be, don't be, don't be naive with the date. Don't say I want a hundred thousand dollars tomorrow, bro. Figure out what you gonna exchange for that money. What's a equal reaction? What's an equal something for something reaction? A equal, you know what I mean? A equal transaction for this money, bro. Don't be naive. Like I said, like establish a definite date. So, for example, say 
I want to make $10,000 in six months. You know what I mean? I feel like if I dedicate myself for six months, I'm going to do it. Nine times out of 10, you put it in six months, you're going to make it before the end, bro, but you're giving yourself that loan. Fourth, create a definite plan for carrying out your desire and begin at once, whether you're ready or not, to put this plan into action. This fourth step is very, very crucial, bro. Put you a plan together. Tell what you're going to give for it. Tell how much money you want and tell when you're going when you're going to get it, bro. And actually start it as soon as you put that plan together. A lot of people, they wait for the perfect moment and that perfect moment ain't never going to happen because ain't no moment perfect, bro. You got to get to it, my nigga. Fifth, write out a clear, concise statement of the amount of money you intend to acquire. Name the time limit for its acquisition. State what you intend to give in return for the money and describe clearly the plan through which you intend to accumulate it. No cap. Write it down, bro. Like I just said, write it down, bro. Six, read your written statement aloud twice daily, once just before retiring at night and once arising in the morning. As you read, see and feel and believe yourself already in possession of that money. No bullshit, bro. All these books really say the same thing, bro. You got to see it in your mind before you see it in real life. That shit is real, bro. Whatever you see in your mind, whatever you train your mind, whatever your subconscious tell you what's going on, that's what's actually going on in your real life, bro. If you think you rich, bro, you're going to grow rich. That literally is the title of this book. I didn't even try to do it on purpose. If you can think it, bro, you can you can achieve it, bro. Real spiel. And that's basically what this book is talking about, bro. You feel me? And the way I was in introduced to this, like I said, I was doing the trucks and I was listening to Bob Proctor. He was saying that. I literally stopped right there, bro. I got one of the little slips that we had at work and I wrote it down how much I wanted. And then if y'all know me in my notebook, I had wrote it down in my notebook. I'm so thankful for this amount of money. And I put that amount of money, bro. And, bro, ironically, bro, I think it was like two months later that shit happened, my nigga. It was so crazy. It was so surreal. And it was like, it didn't even feel crazy. It just felt like, wow, I really said it and I really believed in it and it really happened. That's another thing, bro. You got to really believe what's going on. You got to really say what you're going to give for this, bro. You know what I'm saying? You got to really put that grind in, put that work in, and you got to really do it every day. You feel me? Like, even if you're not ready, even if you're ready, even if you're not, you feel me? Just like the book said, you got to be willing to put it in, man. So I just wanted to share y'all to y'all how I made my first 10 racks. You feel me? Hopefully, like I said, this can inspire somebody to... Really get on that purpose, bro. And remember, you can't get something for nothing, bro. Remember that. You feel me? You ain't just writing it down and it's going to happen like magic. Shit not magic, bro. Put in that work. You feel me? Put in that grind. Put in that hustle. Put in that determination, man. I believe in you. If don't nobody ever tell you this, bro, I believe in you. If you made it this far and you watched me and you listened to my voice and you somewhat motivated, inspired, bro, I believe in you, bro. I believe you can put that work in. You feel me? I believe you got this. You feel me? However much money you want to make. It's up to you, and can't nobody stop you from doing that but that man in the mirror, and that's you. Make yourself proud. Make yourself proud. You feel me? Go out and get it, man. No cat, this world is yours.